God is Shaitan, and Gadriel Gadriel is a name for the serpent of old, whom is called Shaitan, and God is a short name for Gadriel and Gadriel. And the old serpent, was known as Gadriel and also God, and God was the one whom beguiled Eve, and God is also a name for Shaitan. Frenzy, the sovereign one of heaven was the holy one whom came down from Ease heaven, when Shaitan, the old serpent beguiled Eve. And then, he, the sovereign one, banishes Shaitan from entering into Ease heaven. And then he Elohim he, the holy one cast them out of Ease, garden which was in Ease, world. Friends, the story of the fall of mankind is being falsely recorded in the Bible. And also the story about the fall of mankind which can be found in the book of Genesis chapter 3, and also from the book of E, Enoch, chapter 69 verse 4, when God Gadriel whom was called the serpent, and Chaitan, was found culpable and responsible for the fall of mankind. And when his offsprings were born illegitimately, because he was the evil one, whom corrupted human beings, and because he was, the deceiver who beguiled Eve, and whom led her astray according to the book of e Enoch. And this was the sin of disobedience which led to the fall of humanity. And this was one of the reasons for the fall of Shaitan which is in the book of e Enoch. Friends, there is a controversy in the Bible, and also in the book of Genesis, and also in the Genesis account about who was the one who beguiled Eve. And also about how the fall of humanity occurred. And here we are, some thousands of years later we still don't really know. And it is still baffling as to who is Shaitan, and also whom is actually God. And many people are being made to believe that Adam was the one whom deceived Eve. Even though Adam is recorded as being Eve's husband. But this account isn't true. Friends, the creation account in the book of Genesis, and also the creation account from the book of e Enoch are different from one another. And the account from the book of Genesis and the book of e Enoch tells a different story. And this is one of the reasons why the book of e Enoch is not within the canon of the so-called holy scriptures. Which is the word of God. And which is not the true oracle of Elohim. So it was removed because many of the religious heads thought that it was too controversial. And this is one of the reasons why it was willfully omitted from the KJV Bible. Because the truth be told, many people now are discovering the errors in the Genesis account, and also the lies and blasphemies that are in the KJV Bible. And many people are looking for the truth about the fall of humanity, and they are discovering it in the book of e Enoch. When, E, the Holy One, whom is the Sovereign One, who saw the wickedness of the sons of God, and who came down from his holy habitation, when he Elohim he, first created all the heavens and the earth, to communicate with human beings, and to sort out the disobedience of God and Eve. When God got real corrupted his creation and also humans and also the human genome. When God got real and the sons of God they were ravishing his people them and killing them continually. Friends, the name God, is a short name for God real. And the book of e Enoch tells of a story about how the Watchers, when first the Watchers began to copulate with human. And it tells a story that there were some 200 Watchers whom abandoned their posts. When they made an oath of abjuration to corrupt themselves by sleeping with the women them. Whom he, the odd had created, and when e Elohim he first created E's world. And when, he, first created mankind. And it was because of God's sin of disobedience, that he, the Holy One banishes God whom is called Shaitan from his earth. And also when he, came down from his heaven. And when he, the Sovereign One, barred God Godreel from entering into his, holy habitation. And that this was because of God Godreel's sin of disobedience, and also because of the disobedience of Eve. And that, this was one of the major reasons for the fall of mankind friends, and this was one of the main reasons why I have decided to reword Genesis chapter 3, to reflect the deception of Eve, whom was the one culpable for beguiling Eve. When the book of Genesis states that it was Adam. But in truth and in fact it was God Godreel instead of Adam, because in the Bible, Adam was the husband of Eve. But in the book of E, Enoch, 
God Godreel was known to be Shaitan and Ibli and Chaitan and Satan and also the old serpent and whom was the cruel one who beguiled Eve instead of Adam. And God Godreel who was charged by E. Elohimi, for misleading humanity and for corrupting E's creation. And he was found culpable also for misleading her and for copulating with her and for leading her astray, when they were cohabiting in E's garden, in E's earth, in E's world, which, E, the Holy One had created and which was E's world, and which was E's garden in Eden, that E. Elohimi, had placed them into, and which is this very world where we are presently living in today, and right now. Friends, the field, and the garden is synonymous for E's earth. And also for E's world in which we live nowadays. And Chaitan was in E's garden, that was in the world, when, E. Elohimi, first created the world in the beginning. And Chaitan was culpable for corrupting E's creation, and also in deceiving Eve, and also he was deemed the mastermind of the oath of abjuration, and also for misleading humanity, and even today Shaitan is still at work, deceiving E's people in E's world. And it was because of Shaitan's deception, and his illegitimate copulation with the first woman. That this was the reason why Eve's offspring and also the offspring of God God Godreel was, corrupted. And this is still the major reason why we all were born in sin and transgression and also under the curses of sin and death, and also sickness and diseases. And it was all because of Shaitan why we all must to be redeemed, and be reborn or be emanated by Elohimi. Because we were all born under the curses of sin, sickness, and also death. And this was the corruption that was caused by God Godreel. And it was also because of God's sin of disobedience which also caused God's offsprings to be rejected by Elohimi. When Chaitan whom is also called God copulated with Eve. And when he and Eve, first reproduced children it was against the commandment of E. Elohimi. Whom is, E the odd. And also whom is called the Almighty E, and the Holy One. And also the odd of all the heavens and the earth. And because their offspring was illegitimate. And that they were born out of God 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 real disobedience. And as a result this caused the curse of sin and death, and then death and sickness and diseases entered into the world and it fell upon all humanity. Friends, it was because of this very sin of disobedience, and the deception of Eve by God Godreel that humanity fell and human beings were corrupted in Eve's garden, which is Eve's world today. And that this sin was the cause of the fall of mankind. And it was not from eating a certain kind of fruit which was bearing on a forbidden tree that was in the midst of E's garden. As some would have us to believe. But it was because of the abjuration from E Elohimi, and also because of God 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 real sin of disobedience, and also from the sin of God to corrupt E's creation, and for blatantly disobeying E Elohimi, when God and the other watchers abandoned their posts to have copulation with the women. And E Elohimi charged God real. And E. Elohimi, found that God meaning Godreel was culpable for being the master mind whom corrupted E's, creation. And for teaching human beings how to kill one another and also how to commit murder. And how to make war and many weapons, like the sword and shield and other devices of death. And God Godreel whom is called Shaitan, became the antithesis of E. Elohimi. And also the enemy of all human beings. And for his evil intentions, towards all humans, and he is notoriously known for having sexual relations with Eve. When God Godreel became Shaitan God Godreel for beguiling Eve the first woman. And also for corrupting Eve's creation and also Eve's world. And friends, it is because of the book of e Enoch that we now know that it was God Godreel whom slept with Eve and whom misled Eve. When they were explicitly warned not to partake in any kind of sexual relations. But as the story goes, in the KJV Bible it was Adam and not God Godreel whom was the one whom beguiled Eve. But friends it was God Godreel for sure who was the evil beast and the old serpent that beguiled Eve. And when she conceived she delivered a son. And then the son of God Godreel whom was called Cain murdered Abel whom was the righteous son of Eve. And whom was called forth from the womb of Eve by Elohimi. Friends, it's not too far-fetched to believe that the God of the Bible whom many people are excitedly worshipping, is not the Holy One. But he is a evil monster. 
and he is none other than Shaitan whom is also known as Shaitan and Ibli and Shaitan and Satan and also Gog and Gad and God and Godreel. And he is also known as the Mighty God, and also the Rebellious One, and the God of this world. And that this old serpent whom was Shaitan was in E's garden, which is E's field. And which is E's world. And God Godreel is presently a fugitive in E's world. But he is now called Noman because he has lost his skin in a bet, for Joobi's soul. When he was found culpable for murdering Joobi's family and by plaguing Joobi's with sores and boils. And God Godreel whom was called Shaitan. And he was the evil one who corrupted E's creation in the fall of mankind. And in the time when the watchers fell. And when God Godreel became to be called Shaitan. And whom today is better known as Shaitan and also Gad and Gadriel and also by many other names. Friends God was found culpable for corrupting E's creation and also all of mankind. And when life became so horrible for humans that this was when, E, the Sovereign One, removed the sons of God, during the time of Noah, when there was a deluge that annihilated the sons of God. But friends today the Jesuits them they have rewritten the Bible to reflect the story about, how God is the sovereign king of all of ease heavens and ease earth. Which is a blasphemous lie. And which is a totally different story about how ease creation came about in the beginning. And which was totally omitted from many books in the Bible. And there isn't any mentioning about whom is, e. And whom is the rightful owner and the maker, and the creator of ease world. And whom is e, the sovereign creator and the sovereign king of all of ease heavens and also ease earth. And they, the Jesuits have conveniently rewritten the Bible which omits the culpability of God Godreel and also for his sin of disobedience, and for his crimes against humanity. And for being our enemy. And when God is called Shaitan and the administrator of death. And the Bible now rewards God for being mighty and for being a supernatural being, and also for being the creator of heaven. And the Jesuits, they have neglected to teach us how that it was Godreel whom was called God, and whom was the deceiver and also Shaitan and Ibli and Shaitan and Satan. And that it was God Godreel whom was the evil one whom corrupted E's creation. When E Eluhimi first created E's world. When the stories that are written about the goodness and also the greatness of God are all but lies and blasphemies. And even the stories about the sovereignty of God God Godreel is undeserving. And when the Jesuits them, they decided to make God into a savior and also to call him by the title, the mighty God, and the Lord God Almighty. And whom also have many more unworthy and deceptive titles in the Bible, when God, is undeserving of any such praises, because he is up to no good, and because he is shaitan in disguise. Friends, would you please continue on to the rewording of Genesis. Warning. Friends at times this rewording may be become sexually explicit. But it is an eye-opener. And it may seem crazy and far-fetched or outlandish, but it is the truth. Friends, please bear this in mind. Thank you. Friends the gift of rewording was given to me by Eluhimi. To represent a Eluhimi and also to present a different option and a clearer understanding, about the Bible, and the truth about the lies and the blasphemies and the deception of God and Jesus. And also all the above, and also to reveal all of the falsities that are in the Bible and also the false beliefs in many of the world's religions. And also the errors which have been used to indoctrinate us by the Jesuits, and which have been introduced to us, and also into all the major faiths and the world's religions and also the lies and the blasphemies which they have been spreading with their false erroneous propaganda to the religious and irreligious masses, and to deceive them and to dumb down the masses in the world. And whom they have been deceiving for years and even for decades and even for eons. Thank you. And friends I pray that E, whom is the Almighty E would open up your minds and also your hearts to the understanding of E's holy oracle and also this message, and also to the deception of God and Jesus that has been perpetrated upon mankind in E's world, and that in the end that this would help many of us to embrace E Eluhimi, whom is E Christ and whom is the Almighty E, whom is the Sovereign King of all the heavens and the earth. Thank you. Please continue on to the rewording. Thanks. 
Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 to 5, Now Shaitan whom is called Old God God Godreel and the serpent of old, he was very wicked. And he was more subtle than everyone else that E. Eluhimi, the Odd had created. And God Godreel, he was more cruel than any other wildlife or wild beast that was created in E's world. And he made out with the first woman. Whom Eluhimi had created and whom E. Eluhimi, had placed in E's garden which was in E's world. And then God God Godreel said to Eve, the first woman, whom was in E's garden, whom E, the Odd had made. And then God, he said, to the woman, haven't he, said to you that you shouldn't partake in any sex with me or with anyone else. And also that you shouldn't let me touch you, down there, because if you did, and if you did have sex with me, God God real you would die. And then the woman Eve, said to God 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 real whom was the serpent, yes, God. And that is why when most women are having sex they scream out the name of God during sex, and then God, he continues to say to her didn't E. Eluhimi, also say to you that you and I shouldn't partake of sex? And that neither should you, let me touch it or eat it. And that neither should any one of us, that are living in E's, garden should touch you. And neither shouldn't I God. And neither shouldn't anyone else. And that you shouldn't let us touch you in the midst of it, your vagina, lest you would die. And then God, God real, whom is Shaitan, said to her, it's because, E. Eluhim, knows it's good. And that's why E, have said that you and I shouldn't experience it. And that is why E, doesn't want us to have sex. And that is why we shouldn't have sex. And it's not because that you would die. But it is because you and I would be like E. And we would create life. And then Gad God God Godreel the serpent said to, Eve, the first woman, you aren't really going to die. And then Eve, said to God God real, whom is called Shaitan, you know. E, have said if I did that you and I would surely die. Then God whom is called Shaitan, said to her certainly not. You surely aren't going to die, it's because E, knows that the day that you and I would partake in sex that will enjoy it, and in the day that you and I would copulate, and when I should enter you, and when I should come in there, then your eyes would be opened, and then you shall become a creator of life, like, E. And then you shall create life, like how E. Eluhimi, can give life. And then you'll become wise as E, and knowing good and evil. Friends, Shaitan has been beguiling us for years and even for many decades and even for eons. And he is still at it. And yet many of us, it seems that our eyes have been blinded and sealed shut and that we are incapable of seeing the truth. But my friends, let this message permeate your heart today. And I pray that your eyes will be opened, and that you would be able to see, through the lies, and also the blasphemies of the Jesuits, and also that you will see through the lies and the blasphemies of God and Jesus and also the deception of God and Jesus. And that many of you would begin to realize the deception of God and Jesus. And that you will see the truth in my rewording and that you'll begin to embrace the holy sacred name of E, and E Eluya, and E Eluhimi whom is the Holy One. And whom is E, the Holy Prophet, and whom is E, the Odd. And whom is E Christ. And whose name is called Holy E. And whose name is Odd in all the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. So let it be. Praise E, the Odd. Thank you. Friends, to learn more about E, and E Eluya, and E Eluhimi, and Humizi, the sovereign king of all the heavens, and the earth. Then would you now please consider this message. And also would you now please follow me online? And also would you please check out my messages on my YouTube channel and also on my Rumble channel? Thank you. And please would you also remember to subscribe. Thank you. Friends would you please also check out my message, which is called, My Testimony and also My Experience with Jesus. Thank you. The End A True Story About My Experience with Jesus